Went out with my first paycheck and bought a camera. I was age 26. Carried it with me every day. 40 years it'll be in a few months. Every day, wherever I've gone on the street or in bed with someone, I've covered everything through my camera. Well, being born blind in one eye was perfect for photography. You never had to close an eye to take a photograph. You never had to change three dimension to a flat plane. So around 76, or the very end of 75, my eye started seeing through nets, like there are two stockings over my eyes that are both moving and making ch -ch 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 these patterns. Like it was hard to read mail, hard to read a street sign, hard to see people. A year later, I started walking with a cane and my leg was dragging. Finally, yeah, neurologist said I had MS. And I said, call me when you got a cure. I ain't coming back. Not only do I have MS, but now I've also got lung cancer. The big C. God, I go back to some of my favorite photos. One is called Someone to Talk to. And the old man's talking, pointing his finger, looking sternly at the dog. And the dog is looking at me saying, what is he talking about? For 17 years, I lived in the Greenwich Village, photographed street life. Anything on the way to my daily events. I got my education on the streets. That's why I could take naughty photos. Nobody taught me right from wrong. Although now that I have hope attendants take care of me, I have to be somewhat clean cut. Hey, Sherry, go to my right. Photograph the three of them. Now that I can't hold a camera or press the shutter release button, whoever I'm with, I said, help, help, quickly, grab the camera, go a little closer. And I get the shots, one out of ten are exactly as I wish they would be. Others I have to crop a bit. And you still say you're not a photographer? No, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. We're on the way to the drugstore. And I said, Marva, take a picture of that. And she said, what, that piece of junk? I said, it's not junk. You'll see when you take the picture. Make sure you get all six points in. And she did it. She still didn't understand. But now every time we see on television the Israeli flag, I say, look, there's your photo. New York, New York, it's a wonderful town. I looked at the buildings being built and I went closer, closer, and looked up and I said, wow, those are the World Trade Center buildings. So what did I do? I snuck in and the guard said, what are you doing here? I said, I'm here to photograph the building. I touched his hand gently. Could you take me up there? Young hot chick, he said, sure. That's my tribute to Mayor Bloomberg where I can't even cross the street. one day I called the city, asked them if they could build a ramp on a certain corner. They didn't have funding for it. So I bought the cement and built my first ramp. Sometimes people would see me sitting beside my wheelchair, troweling the cement, and they'd say, Miss, are you okay? Can I help you? 
I say, yeah, can you mix the cement, please? Isn't this amazing to live two blocks from all this excitement? <laughs> Since I started becoming disabled at age 30, I got used to the idea that I ain't going to be what I used to be. I guess it's hard being not a hot chick anymore and getting freebies and talking your way into places. Although I can push disability, I use whatever I've got. Most important is to continue in a different style. I'm glad I took all the pictures because now I have time to put them all together. And you got to think of the future and what you can do with your life to keep your interest going. <laughs>